everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. This is a matchup we've all been waiting for. Two teams ranked in the top five, battling for a precious conference title, but also pointing to something even bigger, the college football playoff. As we'll see the number three team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes, taking on the number one team in the land, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Kickoff team out there getting ready, and this is it, the battle for the conference championship trophy. He'll bring it out from his end zone. And he's brought down at the 16, but been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. So Ohio State's offense is up first today. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Well, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity, and that usually means their opposition is in trouble. Oh, gosh, give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. The Buckeyes come to the line to run the hurry up. Boy, what a throw and catch again by the Ohio State Buckeye offense. You think about how Ohio State has been able to really grow over the years. Go back and think about Chris Carter back in the 80s and Joey Galloway in the 90s. And, of course, most recently with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave, Jackson Smith and Jigba. So many great receivers, and it's been fun to watch this young man today. Play action here on first down. Got him. He's sacked. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. Bakes the handoff, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. He's got a man down the middle. Tackle made after a big game. The Buckeyes begin a new series here, first and ten. There's the handoff. And he's finally tackled out the two-yard line. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice, solid game. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. The freshman's able to get home with a sack. Chris, this is what I love about the legacy of the Nebraska linebacker is the ability to get after the quarterback like this. I mean, think about some of the guys that you and I have had a chance to watch wear that uniform. Back in the old days, it was that half jersey, right? Guys like Trev Alberts, Broderick Thomas, Terrell Farley in the mid-90s on that national championship team. And Levante David, who's a great pro, but got it all started right there in Lincoln. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. He'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Just getting settled into this conference championship game. This offense already has four points on the board. Man, they are not wasting any time at all in settling into this football game. They got straight to the reads. Quarterback did a nice job of just kind of executing the game plan. And they're up seven here. And the point after is good. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the Nebraska Cornhuskers offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players just a few guys, Kirk. But what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. 
You start the drive with a quick throw to the left side. You get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. I think it's important to kind of let your quarterback get into a rhythm early in the game. Sure, you'd love to see the big gains, but plays like this allow the quarterback to get settled into the game, find his rhythm, and then he can make the bigger plays later on. So a very makeable third down for the offense with a 29. Can he get there on the ground? Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. The back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. On first down, why not keep it on the ground? You bring him down at the 44, that's a solid game, getting close to the midfield now. That is a first down, good job by this big offensive line and this running back to be able to pick up positive yards. How often have we said that over the years with backs and offensive line play from Nebraska? Defense is coming after him. Looks to the left, and it's complete. Tackled quickly after the catch. He'll be short of the marker. And the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Second down, we're going to throw it. Dumps it down to the back. Oh. They wrap him up, but the game is good enough for a first down. It's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Pitches to the back. Brought down quickly after the pitch. The defense reading that option very well. Chris, this is what I love to see from the defense is the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to throw it on third and very long. He pulls it in for a big game. Finally brought down, but the offense moving close to the red zone here. A lot of times college quarterbacks are more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field lead, and he hits a big play in the middle. He's got some room. Can he get there? And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Huskers. Methodical but effective, Kirk. Probably one of the most impressive drives we've seen in the conference championship game. Hey, I have to agree with you. Long drives like that are like a great painting. Slowly layering all the intricate facets until you have a masterpiece completed. That drive was put together in the same fashion. Just masterful execution on that drive. Let's see if they can convert the point after. And there's the point after. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to bring this out two yards deep in the end zone. Tackle at the 13. Not great field position to start the drive. Here comes the powerful Buckeye offense back onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. He picks up the first down, but gets drilled on the tackle. Buckeyes will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. Nice throw and catch here for the Buckeyes. You know, Chris, it's hard to think of a time when Ohio State didn't have an efficient and prolific quarterback under center. Quarterback keeps it. He's going to try the right side. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield to the 48. This is exactly how this offense envisioned this game getting started, is having opportunities to be able to crease this defense and hit big plays. Now let's see what they can do off of it. Catch hauled in here over the middle. They bring him down after a short gain there. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. That completion makes it second and medium. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Here's an easy completion to the back out of the backfield. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. 
offensive line does everything they can to try to protect the quarterback to give him enough time to find an open receiver. But there's nobody there downfield. He ends it up throwing it to the back. But how about the speed of this defense? Matt looking to throw it deep. Caught way downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Ohio State. It was a foot race and he won it. That's what makes this guy so dangerous as a wide receiver. He can catch the ball underneath, shake and bake and go by you, or use his speed to get around you and make a big play like this for a touchdown. And the PAT is good. Kickoff teams come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. This should be the last play of the quarter. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. Well, Ohio State has the lead here, Kirk. But at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Quarterback finds an open target on the left side. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. A running back who can take a check down like that and turn it into a game can be a quarterback's best friend. And it's an easy way to rack up those touches and get the ball to your playmaker in the open field. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Off the play fake, looking to throw. The pocket breaking down. And it's incomplete on the throwaway. You find anybody open, brings up a second down now. Well, sometimes an answer for an offensive coordinator against a good pass rush is to move the launching point. Move the quarterback from one spot to another to affect the rhythm of the pass rush. That's not having any kind of impact at all on this defense. They're getting after this quarterback no matter where he is. They do a good job of it right here. The Huskers line up on first and ten. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And they don't block the defensive end and show some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? Catch made across the middle by the running back. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You've got to get pressure on the quarterback, but you got to tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. That's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Now, this is the eighth play on this drive. And the QB will try again on second and ten. Pass not complete. This was a promising drive, but back-to-back -back incompletions makes it third and ten. Looking to throw it again. Launching it downfield. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Nebraska. Conference championship pressure, they just grind away. Beautiful execution in that methodical drive. Man, I can't think of a better stage than a conference championship to put together a drive like that. Moving the sticks, executing along the way, avoiding any turnover potential, and coming up with a touchdown. Great job. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And the PAT is good. the kickoff team now set to boot this one away he 
He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And they stop him short of the 25 there. Offense begins at the 22. Here comes the Buckeye offense onto the field. A little bit of my turn and your turn in the early going here. Both offenses scoring touchdowns their last possession. Only a small game. Now looking at second and nine. Movement at the second level of the defense now. They look to throw it here on second down. Snags the quick throw. Makes the first down, but pays a price. Big hit there at the end. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. See what the call is on first and ten. Running back with the football. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Quick throw, that's an RPO caught on the left side. Oh, and he's free down the left side. Can they run him down? Who could not stop him? He's in. Touchdown, Buckeyes. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. E.T. puts him in front by seven. The kickoff team on the field now is in. Gets set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. And they keep it going. Looking out throwing here to start the drive. The freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there. What a play here by this defensive line. You can get so caught up in the flashy offense of Ohio State in recent years. But let's not forget, they still play defense in the shoe and have such great history and tradition with that defensive line play. The catch makes it a more manageable third down. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. That's just not a whole lot of options here for this quarterback on the RPO. The defense, give them credit. They did a nice job of sniffing it out. I wouldn't be surprised if the quarterback is second-guessing that decision of giving it to the back instead of pulling that and either running it himself or maybe making a nice throw. The coach's choice to go for it does not pan out. Excellent field position here for the offense. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. I mean, every single time this guy runs the option, you're kind of like holding your breath, wondering if he's going to break a tackle or get out in the open field and use his speed. He picks up some yards here, but let's see if this defense can keep putting pressure on him and not letting him get out into the open. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. He's moving out of the pocket now. Slides down to avoid the tackle. These are the type of plays that are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him tied up. They thought they were going to be able to get him to the ground on the pass rush, but they're unable to do so. So he gets away, picks up a big first down, and now this sets up a first and goal inside the 10. The Buckeyes line up with a first and goal. They'll switch it up here, looking to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. So still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead now. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker rooms. 
And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Not a whole lot of time remaining before halftime to cut into this lead. So the first play of the drive here coming up, less than two minutes left on the clock. And looking to throw now on first down. Checks this down to the running back. You bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. That's a big first down for this offense, and it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get him going. And keep this in mind, Chris, because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. From the shotgun, drops back, looking for an open man. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Well, it's pretty simple. The defensive line does a great job of getting after the quarterback and forcing him into that incompletion. Running back has it on the screen now. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. And I think in a process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. It's caught. Nice pitch and catch. The timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. The completion makes it second down. We're going to run the option. And now it's fumbled. What a decision. No turnover. Offense recovers the fumble. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on top of it. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Trying to extend the play. Boom. Trying to use his legs to make the first down. Couldn't get there. And now it's a fourth down call. This time enough for one more play in the half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. Two quarters down in the Big Ten Championship. A couple of incredibly worthy teams battling for their rightful place in the history of this great conference. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have to find this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. And with that, let's send it back to Chris and Kirk and the exciting conclusion of the Big Ten Championship. All right, thank you for the update, Kevin. Appreciate it. The Buckeyes will kick it off to begin the second half. And the kickoff will bounce right through the end zone for a touchback. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Set now five wide. First down, they're going to throw the ball. He flips it to the back across the middle. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Pass caught, second down now. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Using his legs here. They bring him down, but not before he moves the sticks with a first down game. Defense does a great job of taking everything away downfield. This quarterback wanted to take a shot, but nothing is there. And looking for a big play here. Oh, the deep ball caught in the 25. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. No chance to catch him. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Now, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. Extra point try coming now. PHC is good, but still trail, though. 
Getting set to kick the ball off now. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. Okay, here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see what this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Opening play of the drive, he looks right for a completion. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. Well, I'll say this. This defense went in at halftime, made some adjustments, and they look like a different group here in these first few plays. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. He's going to throw for the first down. Catch made on the right side. And the defense wraps him up quickly. Got about five yards on the completion, but now it's fourth down. Buckeyes will line up to punt it away. Looking to flip the field here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. They punch it into the end zone the last time. Let's see if this defense has made some adjustments to stop them this time. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. And they'll go right back to him on first down. This is a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. The game makes it second and medium. Here's the option play. Pitch to the back. The ball carrier taken down, but there's a flag on the field. Hold, 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 hold. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. Here's the second down play. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Finds his target. He's swarmed by the defense. Man, isn't it fun to watch running backs who can add that dimension to the passing game? They're so dangerous because once they catch the football, they're operating in much more open space than they would be if they're just getting a handoff. And it really tests the linebacker's ability to cover out of space. The Cornhuskers looking to run some tempo here. The game picks up the first down, tackle at the 37. What a job by this offense picking up the first down. There's a play caller, you look at where you are in the field. If you punt it, there's a chance it goes into the end zone for a touchback. If you kick the field goal, it's a really long kick. So this is a great opportunity to be aggressive and pull the trigger to try to come up with... And he busts loose right down the middle. It's a foot race. No stopping and takes it all away. Touchdown, Huskers. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. But let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. They all played a key role in that score. comes the point after attempt. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. And he stopped at the 20, trying to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the Ohio State offense back on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? First down here for this offense. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. 
Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Bringing pressure. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. I just love the fact he doesn't take a sack here. In fact, I'm sure you can imagine hearing his coach saying it's third down. Do not take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't quite get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yards. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. In the last possession, the defense just had no answer for this powerful ground game. Let's see what they can do this time. Looking to throw it on first down. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. Clear movement before the snap, and it'll be a false start. False start. False start. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Important second down play coming up. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Quarterback looks to his right and finds his man. And the defense brings him down. That's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line. Because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route. And the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. And the Huskers getting set on first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Receiver makes the catch. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. The quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. The Cornhuskers pick up enough for a first down here. They'll try the option play here. He'll pitch it. And that one produces a decent game. Well, I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. so far. And let's see how this one unfolds in the final quarter set to get underway. Here we go. First play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. Takes the handoff again. He shreds the tackle. Tackle, but first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Trying to create outside the pocket now. The soft were able to bring him down quickly. Getting set. Your second down. Easy. And the 
quarterback looking to make a play through the air. And he's hit right as he throws it incomplete. Boy, the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass. If they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play. But give them credit. They were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. Short throw to the sideline, forced out after just a short game. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. Here we go on fourth down. Oh, they've stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. And the wideout goes in motion. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Hit as he releases it, and the pass falls incomplete. In college football today, the quarterbacks get rid of the ball often so fast that this is a great example for young players on the defensive line. If you can't get to the quarterback, watch them. Oh, it's intercepted. A critical late mistake here. Touchdown, Nebraska. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. And the sideline is going wild. What a moment. A defensive takeaway and a touchdown to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. Chris, I just can't help but think about how much work that both these teams have put in to be in this moment. And for this defense to make that play late in a game like this could be the defining moment, not just of this game, but of the entire season. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. There's a kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. He'll bring it out from his end zone. Tackle at the 12. The coach wishes he'd left that one in the end zone. And the Ohio State offense comes back onto the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. That one moves the ball to the 16. Hat on the hat up front. Good job by opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Going for a big play downfield. He's got it down the left sideline for a huge gain. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Just ran away from the defense. Aren't you taught on defense, Kirk? Don't let him throw the football over your head. Exactly what happened there. That makes me really wonder if it was some kind of miscommunication. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I pull my defensive backs over, make sure everybody's on the same page and getting the right call. Pickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he'll bring this out from just inside the end zone. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Last time, the defense got a big fourth down stop. Let's see what the offense can do this time. They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackle at the 26. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. And there's the handoff. Not much on that play. Brought down short. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. You know, this back has taken advantage of his opportunities tonight in his football game. And here's another example on third down. They put the ball in his hands. He knows exactly where to go to pick up the first down. And he's able to do that here in the fourth quarter. Makes a quick grab. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Running back grabs it on the screen. They've got it, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. 
I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. And that's the two-minute warning here as we set up for a close, dramatic finish to this one. Second down after that previous play. Good pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Inside the 30 now. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. Give credit to this offense. They work some clock. They eventually get the ball in the end zone. Now they've got the lead. You kick the extra point, and you hope your defense can hold on so you can win this game. PAT is up and good. The lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. Coverage team brings down the returner. Here comes the powerful Ohio State offense onto the field. First down play call coming up. How impressive will it be? Look, they're now throwing here to start the drive. Pass complete on a crossing route. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. That completion makes it second and short. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Touchdown, Ohio State. This offense is still clicking. What a touchdown by this offense. They're down one now, an extra point away from tying this game up with under two minutes to go. He does his job with a BAT, and this ball game is tied during the fourth quarter. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. Your worst case scenario, go to overtime. But can they make something happen to try to win it in regulation? Let's see. Caught in the flat by the running back. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. Here's the snap looking to throw. He slings this one deep down the left side. The catch is made for a huge pickup. Breaks clear. End zone ahead. The key with these crossing routes is making sure the quarterback has enough time to put the ball accurate on the receiver. Here, he puts it right on his numbers, allowing him to be able to pick up a lot of yards after the catch. And a timeout is taken. Just two seconds left on the clock. And out comes the field goal unit. And a timeout is taken. Just two seconds left on the clock. So here we go. In the final seconds, one swing of the leg for the win. It's good! What a way to win a conference championship! It's always a special year, but after all the work you put in, you can call yourselves champions of the Big Ten. And now with the playoff spot locked up, the spotlight gets even brighter. We're going to find out where they're going to be playing as they continue to pursue a national championship. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.